Keeping it moving right along, our next category this evening is going to be evening gown and question. I'm back! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These papers are a lot. I thought it'd be funny to make a mess, and now I don't know where my life is. Who that out for you? Miss Heidi Ho, everyone. All right, so for evening gown for Miss Woods 2023, contestant number one in evening gown, the category is What's Your Sign, Baby? Estee Lauderdale. This look is an interpretation of my astrological sign, the Libra. Libras are represented by the scales symbolizing their goal to achieve balance in life. Libras are charming, honest, persuasive, and skilled at connecting with others. Libras are excellently excellent leaders and function well as peacekeepers as they see both sides of the argument. Inside these scales are my doubts and insecurities as well as my hopes and my dreams. I am able to find balance with the help of my Woods family and the amazing queens who have come before me. And Estee Lauderdale, if you could just stand there and model for a second while I find what I'm looking for. <laughs> Let me give you this microphone. Are you able to hold it with everything you have going on? Hold on. There you are. Thank you so much, Paula. How are you? I'm doing great. You look fabulous. Oh, thank you so much. It's so nice to see you. Where have you been? Uh, <laughs> okay, so with this question, evening out question and answer, I'm going to read the question twice. Okay. And then you're going to answer the question. Okay. A camp version posts to the buddies list that they are coming up for the first time. What is one piece of advice you give them and one friendly warning? I'm gonna read it one more time. Okay, thank you. A camp virgin posts to the Facebook buddies list that they are coming up for the first time. What is one piece of advice you give them and one friendly warning? A virgin, you say? <laughs> so, best piece of advice I can give a new camper is to be open to the experience. Friends do not make themselves, experiences do not have themselves. You have to be open, and if you need help being open, poppers help. You can spit on the experience. And a friendly piece of advice is that it gets really dark down by the lake at night. You're gonna wanna bring a light, but not a bright one. Just like a two watt, all you need, maybe an LED strip, maybe like a miner's helmet at best. But you're gonna wanna keep that down. Wonderful, Estee. All right, everyone, give it up for Estee Lauderdale. Thank you. Evening now, what is your sign? Estee Lauderdale, contestant number one. This is, I need like four more hands. Okay, your contestant number two in evening gown. What's your sign, baby? Stella Doro. A lot of people put so much stock into their star sign. I've never really brought it to be the honest. I'm a Gemini and many friends say I'm a very stereotypical one. But I noticed the category description said the sign could be a zodiac or otherwise, so I've decided on a stop sign. She's going to be serving construction realness on that runway. I just want people to know that there's always a way to be creative and unique, and sometimes being silly is enough to make people smile. That's why I perform in drag, to delight people. Hey girl. Good evening, Stella Dora, how are you? Stop. Ah, oh, stop! Jeez, did you see what she did there? Yeah. All right, stop. my love. I'm going to read the question twice. Sure. And then I'm going to have you answer it. Just could you read it slow, yeah. please? Very slowly. Very Thank slowly. You. Thank you. A camp virgin <laughs> posts to the Facebook buddy list. Oh, I've heard this. That one. they are coming up for the first time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is one piece of advice you give them, 
and one friendly warning. Okay, all right, I got answers. You good with what? Yeah, I got this, I got this. Um, Hi, welcome everyone to the show. I'm so glad that I get on a microphone for a second. I know I just have a limited amount of time, so thank you judges for being here. Um, What's one thing that I would give as a piece of advice to someone who's coming up here for the first time? Stop. No, I'm just kidding. Um, not, I, I gotta be honest with you, not all of my experiences up here have been great. I, I know, not, not everybody likes to hear that. I came up here with some friends before who were a little prudish, and they were like, oh, what's with all the naked people? And I was like, aren't we at a naked campground? <laughs> Um, so I guess my advice would be to, um, you know, if you're up here with people who maybe have different, uh, different, different ideas about what camp is like than you do, just take your, take your clothes off if you're feeling like it. Don't let them uh, gatekeep your camp experience. I think it should be your own. You should make it your own. And just enjoy yourself while you're up here. Be yourself, um, because life is too short. Life is way too short to not take your pants off. That's what I think, right? That's fabulous advice. I love that. And um, a word of warning to people yes. is um, a glass of water once in a while. Good thing. Good thing. Because everybody forgets about it. I know. Myself, too. Have a glass of water. You're like, no, I don't need it. I've been drinking all day. You still need the water. You still need it. That's all I got to say. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks Everyone for having me. Yeah. Question and answer, Stella Dora, contestant number two. Sorry, at least I didn't do it into the microphone. Oh, you need the microphone, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's going good, it's going great. Okay, contestant number three in evening gown, what's your sign, baby? Villery Hall. Villery says, I am a Pisces. And with this look, I wanted to represent the fluidity of my sign. It shows how my masculine and feminine both reside in me peacefully, and the way I express it through my art and talent. This piece is a part of what I have deep inside of my soul, what shapes me and pushes me to be my better self in life and flow like fish in the water against the strongest tides. Hello, Villery. Hello, hello, hello. How are you tonight? You look stunning. Excited. Excited? Yes. I love that. All right, you were given the question, but I'm going to read it aloud yes. very slowly, <laughs> and then I'll have you answer. Okay. A camp virgin posted to the Facebook buddies list that they're coming up for the very first time. What is one piece of advice you're going to give them, and one friendly warning? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's here seeing this amazing show and the judges. Um, my one piece of advice uh, would be be yourself. I've been myself with every single person that I've been able to meet and it has brought me so much joy. And I have created great relationships because of that. And my one fair warning would be um, don't come here close-minded. There is a beautiful community here diverse, very open. If you come here close-minded, you're not going to be able to have the Woods experience. Thank you. Thank you so much, Villery. Contestant number three, Villery Hall. In the category of evening gown for Miss Woods, what sign, what's your sign, baby? Contestant number four, Gloria Hall. Zodiac sign Pisces, the water sign, for my inspiration. My deep blue sequin gown with patterns of waves and bright colors of the ocean with floor length, cape cap sleeves, and trumpet bottom. The gold sparkling sequins represent the light shining on the waves. I topped off my look with a seashell tiara for that inner mermaid that lurks within us all. Do I smell fish? Oh, maybe just a clownfish. <laughs> Adoring fans. Hello. 
All right, Miss Gloria, you were given the question and I'm gonna ask it again. I lost my paper, so I might do it wrong. Okay. A new, a brand new virgin posting the Camping Buddies on Facebook that they're coming for the very first time. What's one piece of advice you give them and one friendly warning? Piece of advice for a virgin camper? You go encounter a lot of people with all different orientations, tastes, but that shouldn't deter you from just enjoying yourself. You may find out about somebody that you may not be into leather. You may not be aware of what a transgender person is about. Just be friendly and open and willing to accept everybody that is here. And a word of advice for a virgin camper? Uh, if you see an older drag queen <laughs> and she wants you to get you get her out of her clothes and then invite you to the triangle field um you may think twice about that Amazing.